So we have time in, zero, zero. Ignatovich coming out strong as a point. We're going to take us up to one, zero. And Ava's young. She's still a college student. She's at the. She is. She's she at, at the University of Miami. So she is definitely not used to this weather. <laughs> what a great point there. When you think that's a difference, we just came from a men's match. The men, every single time off that return, we're coming in behind it, where we're going to probably see a little bit more baseline to baseline here before we come forward. A lot of it is the size. Uh, we're talking about, you know, men who are six feet plus, uh, women. Uh, the coverage is just a, a little bit different. It's a different style. And so uh, we're still going to see that, trying to get to that net, put pressure on the opponent, but uh, probably won't always be right off that return. Oh, Buckner hitting one into the net, taking us up to 2 0. Ignavovich. 2 0. You see that they're both kind of sitting back, really kind of baseline to baseline, like I said. And so it'll be kind of interesting to see how much they kind of stay in that because, I mean, that was a wicked pass shot that Ava had a little bit ago. And so I know that Brooke's got to be thinking about that when she's approaching. She's want to make sure she's confident in coming in. We're side out. That serve went out just a bit. So we're now up 0-3, Buckner up to serve. I mean, that's a, a clean, I mean, Brooke came in on that strong, solid shot behind there. And I mean, on the line, passing shot down the line from Ava, just so loose and relaxed. I got to say, she's very calm out there, which is great. What a I, beautiful shot by Buckner there. I think that was such a smart change up. She was slicing that ball. She went from that kind of top spin. And then as she approached, she sliced that backhand, making it a very difficult shot for Ava to pick up and hit that passing shot. So it's an intelligent adjustment from Buckner's side. Zero three Buckner. There we go. She's on the board. And that is uh, Buckner's the same thing. She's always very calm on the court. She's cool and kind of collected, which I think is a fantastic feature from both of them. One three Buckner. Here we go. Buckner came yeah. in, was able to capitalize yeah, there. And that's what we're talking about. So she's she's making sure she's got Ava kind of on her heels a little bit. She really kind of went into that backhand side and approached in and a short ball, giving her very little chance of getting it back. So now we're at 2-3. Oh. oh. And that's, <laughs> Unfortunate you know, we all do there. feel that we do the polite kind of hands up, I'm sorry, but, you know, it's not a terrible thing all the time. Secretly it's, celebrating on the you inside. You like it. It's <laughs> so we're at 3 2 at Nogwich serving now. Point. That ball is out, so Nogwich. Improving her lead here up to 4-2. You can see, I think that we're going to have uh, much longer rallies than um, maybe we, let's say we've seen a men's match versus this. We we're seeing them kind of grind it out a little bit more. It's about the first time that Ava has come in, Ignanovich has come in and, uh, to the net, put pressure on, and that does. People want to recognize the importance of pressure, giving them less space to pass you. Here we go, 5-2 Ignavich. Yeah. What a great shot by Buckner. I mean, that, that forehand is fantastic. She's really striking it well. And she's gonna great get that Great placement ball back. on that. Two five. So 2-5 Buckner. How do you work it with your practice schedule? She's like, I've got some great nannies and family that 
help me make sure I'm able to get on the court and train. And we're back in here with 3-5 Buckner. It was a quick side out. A little bit long, and that could have been with the win, but I do like that she was being aggressive with that serve. It's okay to miss a serve sometimes, going for the right things. Now we're 5-3 with Ava. There you go. You see that pressure Agnanowicz is starting to put on the net. She's wanting to come in a little bit quicker, kind of force Buckner into that pressure situation of hitting a passing shot. Six three, acknowledge. Here we go. Back. Right on the line. What a great shot! It's a smart play. I think uh, you know. Notice a lot of these times where pu they're pushing them into a corner. They're not just going side to side with the ball, but they're hitting, trying to hit behind their opponent before they open up the court. So that brings us up to six three, acknowledge. Seven three. Seven three. My apologies. Buckner able to finish there. She made her way up to the net and was able to close that out. So Brooke was uh, drafted onto the Columbus Sliders with MLP. So she's she's going to be a busy lady. She is. One of the PPA tour players, which, as we all know, it's a, it's a lot. We're out on the court a lot, practicing a lot, got uh, MLP, got the tour. There's there's no shortage of events to play all over this country, which is fantastic. We're at Buckner serving 4-7. That's so smart. Again, she's thinking, how do I move her in a different way? Uh, I think that's the experience Buckner has uh, in not just singles, but doubles, being able to to use that time she spent on the court and recognize she's got more variables that she can use, which is like earlier we saw using the slice, shortening the ball. Instead of moving side to side, front to back is also a great option. We're at five, seven, closing that point differential here. There we go. She's up six, seven, a new game. <laughs> it is. It's, and that's what we kind of say is that it's, anything can happen in, you could be down 10 points. It doesn't matter. The, it could go either way. Ball. We're going to reserve on that one. It's just a reminder: is a, on the for the pros on the PPA tour, we uh, we play a let. We do not play off the let. You get a second serve. Okay, and again, Buckner's coming in with a lot of pressure, taking time off the ball, uh, just clean, compact shots. And uh, Ignatovich is now calling a timeout, which. From the world's most iconic tennis arenas to the glint of an Olympic gold medal, a new court beckons, a new challenge arises. Jack Sock has conquered tennis. Now, pickleball's next. Mastery, precision, passion, that's what champions are made of. And when it comes to pickleball, there's only one company they turn to. Jack Sock's legacy continues with the number one brand in pickleball. Selkirk Sport. We are pickleball. Friends, family. Family gets to come see you. It's a good opportunity. So we're back at time in. 7-7, seven, seven, Buckner serving. Side out. That wind was definitely a factor on that one. That ball did not Would you come up as much. You can see the, any of these trees in the background. You're starting to see the it kick up in different directions. And I think the tricky thing is when it's just changes on you. It's easier when it's more consistent one direction. And yeah, it's just a barely a difference. You set the right shots. Very Navowich, close. Eight, seven. And that's it's something we're not seeing a lot. Any miss hits or anything, but you know sometimes we get a strange bounce and get a little bit of wind and now Ignatowicz is up at 9-7. I like that. Again, I think that's an adjustment that uh, you know, Buckner's mixing up her returns a little bit. She went a little heavier, higher ball, which um, is very similar to the strategy about slicing the ball. So you're, you're just changing the strike zone. 
of Ignatowicz. And anytime you're going to adjust from a higher or lower position, that's going to take a more difficulty to that player. So again, intelligent shot from Buckner, and now we're at 8-9. Look at that. It's, I mean, Buckner just was like, I'm powering through, I'm powering through. And oftentimes we look at, let's hit a passing shot or a third shot kind of drop situation. But Buckner was like, nope, I am just going to go right at her and see if I can just cause an error, which it did. It's kind of put a lot of pressure on. So we're back at a tie game, 9-9. Nine, nine. Great shot by Buckner. Yeah, made it to the net. The confidence behind that shot. She's like, yep, I'm taking this, and I'm just going to push it right down. And again, you could see something we see a lot more uh, in the female side is that high two-handed backhand, bringing that ball down a little quicker, and Buckner's got a game point. She's at game point 10-9. Wow. I mean, Buckner on that. <laughs> it, it's uh, both of them played a, a just a quality point, yes. and Ignatovich hit a fantastic. Honestly, when the world sleeps, greatness rises, and while others dream of the next level, we chase it, challenging every limit, turning obstacles <laughs> into stepping stones. Because the next level isn't just handed to you, it's earned. Go next level with 6-0 Pickleball. Uh, and they were able to clearly see the call, which is helpful. I know we, we all kind of, we see a line where you want to make sure you feel confident with those line calls. Buckner getting it right back. We're still at a 0-0 game. 0-0. It's a side definitely making a difference, I think, on for Ava adjusting a little bit. These balls are just going slightly out, so we're at one zero Buckner, and now That's our third ball out thing. on the return. It's, it's definitely uh, an adjustment. For most balls she's met, missed uh, the first game, barely anything, and so again, that's okay. It's. Buckner was down a good amount in the first game. Still came back and won it. Wow, Buckner really getting to that ball, really stretching out to to close there. So now we're up at 3-0. Buckner's still serving. When you can just kind of see that ball moving right there, which has got to be very frustrating and uh, you know, Buckner's going to take advantage of the side as much as she possibly can. So we're at 4-0, Buckner. I mean, that ball that barely came up, I'm not going to lie. From our angle, that ball bounced right in front of us. And Buckner came right on top of that ball, really struck that. And uh, uh, that would have been difficult even if Ronald got to the ball. Even if she was up. already there, that was it just did not come up. <laughs> so we're 5-0. Buckner continuing to lead here. Another let serve, so we're going to re-serve again. Wentz picking up a little bit. Gosh, and that's, I mean, that's just frustrating. And you can see there it is, Agmar, which is going to take that time out. Which, uh, so we're back to time in. Buckner, 6-0. I mean, and that's, we were talking about that earlier, the importance of utilizing that forehand. And you could see how much Buckner is looking for that forehand to, to go, because now Ignatovich has to kind of guess, is she going to go cross court, is she going to go behind me? And she just picked wrong. That one just so out. Wind again, a factor on that one, but that side out I think is welcomed by Ava. So she, she gets that. The it's right, I think it's right decision. <laughs> Brooke again, kind of mixing up her tops and in her slice, which is going to, has been effective, and she's going to keep doing it. So we're 0 7. Ava serving now. Let's see if she can get on the board here. 
I mean, I, I like seeing that. Ava, it's a right call. She's putting pressure on, and Buckner just got really under that ball and just struck it fantastic. I don't know if she could do any better. So we're back at 7-0, Buckner to serve. Kind of a squat and hit right there. It's, uh, again, at the baseline to baseline. We haven't had as many of these recently as a longer rally. Uh, you could see the ball bounce changing and them having to make adjustments for their strike zone. So Ava coming back to serve, 0-7. Zero 0-7. Seven. Zero seven. Oh, that's got to be frustrating, Sarah, to be have her off the court and miss that. And it, and it happens. It's, uh, but it's definitely frustrating to play a solid point and then not having the opportunity you earned. Ken, what I really like in this kind of high backhand slap that Buckner has when she's trying to get that ball down quickly, she's using her left hand to really accelerate that. And so Buckner's now up 8-0. Able to move Ava back and forth, back and forth. It's working. It's effective. She now moves up to 9-0. There's that pattern again that we're seeing from Buckner. It's that top spin and then switching to that slice. So uh, that's gonna, that just makes it tricky. And now we have a match point for Buckner. There we go, that's there we go. Ava that's able Ava to pull needs. that together, get around Buckner. So she's just gotta keep hitting her shots like that. See if she can gain a couple points. Get off a zero here. Zero 10, zero 10 Ava serving. I mean, that's tough. So they've got, Buckner's got wind behind her. She's got that approaching the net. Got a heavy, heavy ball coming in on which, and that's giving her another match point. The official ball of the PPA Tour. And you can kind of hear the miss hits on both players. Not Ava. solid contact on either side. Ava talking herself up. Little pep talk before this serve. 0-10. I think that's something that a lot of players like playing singles is they're like, it's only on me. And then uh, other times players struggle getting themselves motivated. So that's always kind of interesting to see how players can dig themselves out on their own. And Buckner's just confident walking around that court and giving her another match point. It's the third match point. It is the third match point. I mean, what an amazing uh, she, shot! It, 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 